Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a follow-up to a video that I made a few months ago. Um, my PlayStation had gone bad, I had gone to boot it up, and it was giving me an error saying that I needed to reinstall the system software in order to continue. Um, and so we made a step-by-step -step guide on how to go through and do that. Now what I'm finding is that a lot of people in the comments don't seem to have a PC and they're wondering if there's a way to do it without that, um, to do it just on the PlayStation. And it looks like there is. We're able to initialize the system without needing a PC. So today we're going to go ahead and show you the steps on how to get that done as well as how to maybe back up some of your data that will be lost when we reinstall the system software uh, so that it's a smooth and seamless transition. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. I've got my PlayStation here at the desk uh, and I'll flip the camera to show you what I'm looking at. But the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that the PlayStation is powered off. Um, and once we have it turned off, we want to uh, hold down that power button for seven seconds until we hear it beep two times. So initially you'll hear the first beep, keep holding the button down, seven seconds later you'll hear the second beep, and it will take you to the safe mode menu, which looks something like this. Now when we boot in safe mode, it essentially strips away all non-vital functions. So in order to get your controller to connect, you're going to have to put a USB cable on it. Uh, go ahead and press the PS button and it's going to bring us to the safe mode menu. Now in our case, most of these options are not going to help us. Um, they won't fix our problem. What we're looking at is options number 5 and 6. So I just want to give you a quick rundown on what these options do. Option number five says rebuild your database. Now when we rebuild the database it's very similar to defragging a hard drive on your PC. Um, nothing is necessarily deleted, uh, you won't lose anything that way, but it may not fix our problem either. What your PlayStation is going to do is it's going to look at all the files on your hard drive and see if it can find what is corrupted. If it can find what's corrupted, it will try and fix it or erase it from your hard drive. So the first thing that I would try, rebuild the database um, and then reboot your PlayStation, see if it lets you in. Now if that doesn't fix your problem, then what we're going to want to do is initialize the PlayStation. Now what initializing the PlayStation does is it nukes the hard drive completely. Anything that's on there is going to be erased. Your games that you've downloaded, your saved data you downloaded, if you've put any music or movies, all of it is going to be gone. So that's kind of a bummer, but hope is not completely lost. Um, the good news is any games you may have purchased from the PlayStation Store are linked to your account itself, not necessarily to your hard drive. So when you initialize, it will erase those games, but you can log back in and re-download them and it will remember that you've already bought them so you shouldn't have to pay for them again. So games really aren't too big of a deal, quick download and you're done. Save data is a little bit more complex. Depending on what game you're playing, um, a lot of that save data could be on your hard drive or it could be backed up to a cloud. So with a lot of the multiplayer games like Call of Duty, FIFA, Fortnite, Apex Legends, that save data uh, is saved on servers that are outside your hard drive itself. So any achievements, trophies, uh, equipment you may have unlocked, when you log back into the game, that save data should be there waiting for you. If you are playing a single player game, something like God of War, The Last of Us, a lot of times that save data is saved on your physical hard drive. And if you were to initialize, it would erase that and it would be gone. So, a couple ways to work around that. If you have access into your PlayStation itself and can get into the menu, you can back up that save data to a thumb drive. And then when we initialize, you can go ahead and reinstall that using your thumb drive. 
Now, that's a whole tutorial in itself. I will put a link in the description of this video on how to back up your save files to a USB drive. You can watch that video, see if it helps. Um, if you're like me, my system wasn't letting me in, so I couldn't go in and back it up uh, even if I wanted to. The only saving grace you have in that case is if you are a PlayStation Plus member. So if you um, have PlayStation Plus along with getting the free games, one of the perks that you get is they have some cloud storage set aside for your save data. So they will go in and back up your save files and save it to their cloud. And so you can initialize your PS4, log back in normally, and then when you're done, you can re-download your save files from their server to your system. Now, if you aren't a PlayStation Plus member and you haven't backed up your files, unfortunately, those save files are probably going to be gone and the data for those games are going to be lost. It's a bummer, but really there's not another way around it. Um, it's just kind of a lesson learned that we need to back up our data as we move forward. Sorry about that. But let's go ahead and show you what it looks like when we initialize the PS4. So we click, it's warning us that it's going to erase everything. Users, data, everything from the PlayStation. Ask us if we're sure we want to continue. We're going to go ahead and click yes. And you can see the initialization process has begun. Now, in this particular case, we chose option six. And so the system is going to try and nuke itself and rebuild itself from scratch. And hopefully it has all the files on there necessary to do that. If selecting option number six doesn't fix our problem, then we have to select option number seven. And that's where things get a little bit more in depth. We have to create a boot drive um, using a thumb drive, download some files. It's really not too difficult to do, but it does require a thumb drive uh, and a PC or a Mac. But if for some reason this doesn't fix our problem, then I would look at option number seven and I will create a step-by-step -step guide that will walk you completely through that and of course link it in the description to this video. Now I've sped up some of the screens that's going on here in the background because uh, I don't want it to take the whole time and have you guys just watch loading bars, that's a little ridiculous, but I did want you to see what the system looks like. Essentially it's going to take us through a few loading bars saying that it's initializing, that it's updating our system storage, and then it should take us here to the loading screen. Now in my case the whole process only took three to five minutes. Yours may take a little longer depending on how corrupted your hard drive is, what exactly the problem is. So, success. You can see that we are at the uh, loading screen here, showing us the Sony logo. Now we can go ahead and go through the setup process here. You can select your language, uh, everything. This is where you'll reconnect your um, PlayStation to your Wi-Fi or to your local network. Uh, you'll also log back in to your PlayStation account um, and everything should be working. So like I said, hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I will do my best to help. And if this video didn't work, like I had mentioned earlier, we have the next step that we can take. The full initialization process using a thumb drive. Just check the link in that video. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully that this was helpful. If it was, I would love it if you liked, subscribed. Uh, it helps me make more videos like this. Appreciate you watching and we will catch you next time.